So, the question being posed on Twitter, is Jordan Peterson a Christian? Now, I've talked about this a few times in some of my past videos. Jordan Peterson is in that in-between space. He is not necessarily a Christian yet, but he is leaning towards the belief. He is coming to some sort of organic conclusion that there is a God based on his reading and his intellectual thought process. Now, this... I understand this well because this is exactly where I was prior to me becoming a Christian. Um, when I actually became a Christian, that was a faith-based experience. I was in a church one night and I had a powerful experience where I believed that the Holy Spirit himself revealed to me that Jesus was who he said he was. Now that's a faith experience. Prior to that, I was becoming intellectually convinced that there was a God just like Jordan Peterson. I sounded almost exactly like him. And I would give you different answers different days of the week, just like Jordan Peterson does. If you ask me if I believed in God on like, you know, Sunday morning when I was hungover, I'd say no. You ask me Friday night when I was starting to catch a buzz and watching like the little drummer boy, I'd be like, yeah, absolutely I believe in God, <laughs> you know. Um, it was, but I was becoming slowly more intellectually convinced that there was a God. And I was reading almost the exact same things, actually. Uh, Joseph Campbell, The Power of Myth, things that he talks about all the time. I was on almost the identical page. Uh, Nietzsche, uh, reading a lot of Jung. Jung, more than anything, was pushing me towards the intellectual conviction that there was a God. Um, throw, in, throw in the Tao Te Ching. Uh, Dostoevsky also, he references a lot. I was reading Dostoevsky. Throw in the Tao Te Ching and... Uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, there you have my reading list at the time. It's almost identical to his. And it was starting to make me, it was starting to make me become more and more intellectually convinced that there was a God. So that's where I think he's at. Um, in order to literally believe in the resurrection, you can't come to that conclusion intellectually. That's what I've been talking about in a lot of my videos. That's not a rational thought process. It's, that's asking you to believe right from the jump a, a miracle. That's something that has to be birthed in you supernaturally, or you kind of have to be born into a faith that you don't abandon. Um, that's not something that you can like be reading Dostoevsky and read the arguments and you know read read some of Jung's theories on psychology and start going, aha, obviously Jesus rose from the dead. It just doesn't work like that. That that's a supernatural um, conclusion. It's not, a, it's not a reasonable conclusion. It doesn't come to you rationally. But other than that, yeah, I think he's becoming more and more convinced that, that there is a God intellectually through his reading, through his research, and I think he's becoming more and more convinced that that God is at least related to the Christian God. If it's not actually Jesus, he's, he's seeing a lot more truth in Christianity, and he's keeps going back and back and back to Christianity when he talks about religion, you know, more than anything else. Every once in a while, he'll reference Buddhism, and um, as, far as, I, as, far as, I can, as far as I know, he doesn't reference Islam at all. It's usually Buddhism and a little bit of Hinduism. Um, so, that's where, I, that's, where I, that's where I think he's at. I think he's becoming, he's leaning towards the idea that there is a God, but he's not fully convinced and he has not had any sort of a faith conclusion where, you know, the Holy Spirit has witnessed to his heart that Jesus is real. That has not happened. There's no, there's no way that has occurred yet. Um, so there you go. That's, that's how I perceive it.